Old Bass University, friends, we're going to get a little bit complex. Uh, we're going to talk about my band friend right here, the umbrella rig, right? And, and a couple uh, things about an umbrella rig is if, if you watch Zona show, I mean, you know I'm completely addicted to this uh, thing. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, there is no way. There's no way fish bite that thing. We have grown up in bass fishing such little attention to detail that you look at this and you're like are you honestly are you kidding me that it's like a, a goth like like contraption something you'd see at a rave um the the deal with an umbrella rig is and i mean this sincerely people that say i'm not going to throw it because all you do is throw it out and reel it in and you catch them that is absolutely false okay that is not the case with this thing um I have done a lot of trial and error with umbrella rigs learning. Number one, it does catch to me, it catches the biggest ones that swim in your lake, okay? Whether it's largemouth, whether it's smallmouth, whether it's spotted bass. But the main thing about an umbrella rig, here's what I've learned about it is, it, you have to have the right forage base to catch them on this thing, shad. Alewife, emerald shiners, something that is, I'm gonna use a deep word here, pelagic, um, something that swims, that has to be in your lake. Here's what I found with this. I don't catch them hardly at all on an umbrella rig where the primary forage is bluegill. I don't know why that is, but those lakes, this thing sucks. But if there is bait fish present, if there's bait fish present, that's when I know I can catch them on a rig. Um, the other side of this is, let me go through how I, I rig a rig, uh, what my artillery is, and then I'm gonna go through the cadence with this thing. Number one, it catches them from the coldest of water, 38 to 45 degrees, all the way up into the 70s and 80s. It catches them all year long. But I'm not gonna lie, it seems that I have found <coughs> Generally, when the water temp is 50 to 60 degrees, that's when it truly shines on numbers and numbers of big ones, okay? Um, the other side of, of an umbrella rig is I've gone through blades, no blades, and I, look, I don't, I don't use blades. I just do not use blades. On all of my, the umbrella rigs I throw, uh, it, number one, it is no blades. The other side of an umbrella rig, I, I keep it very, very, very simple three sixteenths ounce heads, go. Don't worry about eighth ounce, quarter ounce, three sixteenths ounce heads. I could fish in a foot of water. Ooh, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Or I could fish this thing out to 30 to 40 feet of water, okay? Just by controlling it with the speed of my reel. But I don't confuse the issue. The other side is on all of my heads, I use a lighter wire hook because I do wanna throw this around rock around bass university tv an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers pete gluzek mike iconelli and their talented special guests watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee cancel at any time subscribe today